I'm Molly Peterson from KPCC, and I'm here at the Whitewater Preserve, which is about five miles away from uh, the I-10, just around uh, Palm Springs, California, where a group of environmentalists and conservationists are meeting. They're having a form of a Sierra Club meeting. They're from California and Nevada, all from wild places and rural places. And they're all concerned about preserving their wild lands. Right now, they're concerned about renewable energy because the federal government has announced they've made it a priority to put renewable energy projects on Bureau of Land Management land. And they're doing a programmatic environmental impact statement. That's still in the works. But right now, they've fast-tracked so far seven and possibly more projects before the end of the year, solar thermal, solar concentrating, and photovoltaic solar among them. And that's what these folks are talking about here today. Even though the sun shines all the time, even though the wind blows pretty much all the time in the desert, it's not renewable if you completely destroy these landscapes that will not be renewed. In the desert, if you bulldoze it, it's, it's gone. Uh, Seventy years ago, there's a fire, fellow started a magazine called The Desert Magazine, and his lead editorial was, there are two deserts. And on the first one, everything sticks or bites, and it's hot, and you want to get out of there just as quick as you can. And the second one is for the people who happen to have stopped for a while and looked at the desert and looked under the bushes and looked at the flowers, and they've gone out there when it's not so terrible hot, and they realize that there is really an awful lot out there to appreciate. It's a fascinating place. And to go out there and destroy it square mile at a time is really difficult. The desert has always been a place where people want to do things they don't want to do next to their cities. The problem with the big solar now is that this is major fragmentation of hundreds of thousands of acres. And so the biggest threat to the desert is, is a fragmentation of the ecosystem where plants and animals won't have the range of movement that, that they need to share genes and keep and thrive. It's basically a no-brainer. You know, we should be putting people to work in Los Angeles, in Long Beach, in Oakland, uh, Fresno, places where there are rooftops to be covered with solar panels and people looking for work. And some of the press is beginning to pick up on the idea that there are more clever ways to do this and vastly less destructive. We do not have to destroy the environment in order to save the environment.